D-Lo, ay, yeah, clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, it's even been clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn off a way. Ooh, yeah, see that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, clutch squat? What up, what up? Shaboy Duck, Shaboy Trip Billy, Shaboy Ross, and this is Clutch, clutch advice. advice. Back to you with another segment, ladies and gentlemen, of some yep. advice that we give. On our part, with questions and comments that you guys may have of things mm -hmm. that you're going through. You know what I'm saying? Yes, right. sir. Caleb City. I mean, <laughs> Caleb <Man>. City. Uh, <laughs> wow. Definitely. I mean, it makes sense. Okay. And the last name. So, See, it's, it's the. It's the. Yep. Caleb Smith. Smith. He sent us a. Uh, huh. uh, Smith. Uh, not related to Will. <laughs> not related to I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. It's the universe. It's I mean, my uncle tripping. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, please help me out. What you need right. help with, man? You, I Caleb. finally have a girlfriend after five years. Hey. Hey. Congratulations yeah. to that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Which is shocking to me because I uh, desensitized myself Damn. saying I probably never have a uh, solid relationship after high school, currently 23. I basically that. just saw her th uh, through the lowest point of her life being the only male doing so not exaggerating mm. being there for her trying to lift her up help her see the bright side listen to literal hours of rants per day right, and bro. she no. pulled Chill. the i feel like i've been putting in the effort card this morning she has been the one sending the first text starting the phone calls and convos she kind of has a case but holy shit I am confused. Bro. Sorry for the long comment. You all good, good, man. All good. Yeah. It's all good. I right, look. So the story took me for a doozy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it definitely you did. Said, so. I finally have a girlfriend after five years. Finally, but finally. goddamn, boy. Like, finally. That's exactly what's up. Right. Your boy right. has a girlfriend. Right. <laughs> but it's like, you didn't care for a girlfriend. <sighs> yep. And now, it's, I understand where he's coming from. He's like, I'm, I'm there. For her, but maybe to her, you're not like you're listening, but maybe you're not inputting because it's right, different yeah. when you you're listening to someone's like their issues or what they're going through. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. if you're only listening and you're not really inputting, it kind of comes off as just like, all right, that's cool, you're lending ear, but this is kind of a conversation uh -huh, I'm listening. Where that needs some back and forth. Behind it's like it. it's yeah. like almost as if you're playing the game with the boys mm -hmm. and just talking to you. You're like, yeah, uh huh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. But you know you're not you're not there. Right. You're there, but you're not there. there. Yeah, basically, that's that's kind of how it probably would be depicted in her her mm -hmm. face. And you maybe know, and, and maybe you can possibly expound on that. Like really start like I guess initiating the conversations because it, it kind of seems straightforward on what her issues is, which is good that she's able to at least tell you what it is. Because sometimes you may be in a situation where it's all about you know. Yes, it can. And yeah. you want to be oh, with yeah, somebody bro. that will let you know, hey, this is the issue I'm having. And let's see if we can work on it. So at least she's being straightforward with you. I will at least try to work on those things. Maybe be, you know, be more proactive in conversation. Yeah, Start on, up bro. some convos. Okay, or, look, you know, man, maybe be the first one to give her the calls and stuff. You know, just to... Surprise her, man. Yeah, surprise exactly, her. Man. Switch it up because you'd be surprised what little things that you do can change the whole relationship for the better. So I would yeah. just take those those little tidbits she's giving you, pay attention to them. Yeah, she gave me some warning signs right now, man. So, yeah, so that's all um, you got to do. Just pay attention to them, see how that works, and get back with us if anything changed. You know, if you if she was able to, you know, really feel the difference in, you know, how you're approaching her and how you're responding to what she's going through. And continue to just still be supportive, but just yeah. try to enhance the things that she she's asking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no, that's all you can do. It's a teamwork. Catch, a it, catch it before she say, we need to talk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, this already a month ago, man. So hopefully they're still on good terms, Chish you know. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It before it goes there, man. But uh, um, yeah. Oh, well, my bad. But now, but what I'm getting at is the fact that you were basically saying that you have been the only guy for her and stuff. So mm -hmm. she already sees you as somebody, you know, beyond special. And like, last thing you would want her to feel is like you don't want to be, you know. Mm -hmm. And bam, that can really put her in like a very, you know, like sad state of mind. It's like, mm -hmm. damn, like the only guy that you know mm -hmm. put effort in, you know. Have an interest in me, all of a sudden it seems like he don't have interest in me no more. Nice. So hopefully you don't want that to happen, man. And um, like I said, you sound like 
He basically said, like, I'm finally in a relationship. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It seems like he was a pup, man. I think he was, what, 18? Yeah, I guess I was 18. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you all, yeah, you were definitely a young guy, man. So, I mean, um, yeah. It's, last thing you want to do is, man, is have her feel like you don't want to, you know, you don't have interest in it, bro. So, mm-hmm. I mean, the situation can definitely escalate even worse. Um, I said I wouldn't take her for granted, man. Just, uh, it takes two, man, 50-50, man. Just pretty much match your same energy when it comes to communication and whatnot. You know how the women are, man. You know, they're going to they gonna talk to you for hours on, you know, in life. You know, of course, that's how women are, you know. Of course, <laughs> oh. shout out to all the queens oh, out there. He, it ain't nothing like that, you know, of course. He's you know. going rogue. <laughs> nah, What's some advice? Wrong channel, right? <laughs> oh, do not come for me. But they're going to come for you, bro. No. I mean, it's, it's, it's all love. You know? <laughs> but, but yeah, nah, man. You, 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 um... You gotta be careful when somebody is in conversation when you at their low points. Um, Definitely, man. Because that's a sensitive state, that's a vulnerable state, and you know usually they tend to cling on to people in those moments. Yeah, that's why it's very, very. You have to be very careful when you're dealing with like a breakup or you're in your feelings over certain things or who you're around because you may latch onto that person more than you know you are. Yeah, and that's why. So a lot of times when people get out of relationships, they gotta be you know real cognizant of who they're talking to because some guys really want to be a lending ear just to lend some, another type of ear mm-hmm. and their their vulnerability tends to make them transfer emotions to, onto someone else yeah. mm-hmm. just because they're talking to them so when you're talking to somebody at a low state uh, of their life or a low point and they're feeling like you're the only go to like male yeah. that's some responsibility that you gotta you know take on and um, hopefully you guys go strong but again just like Ross was saying and B was saying like just, just kind of give her some back and forth, man. You know, yeah. a lot of times the women want you to be present and also kind of give advice here and there as well. Not too much advice. Mm-hmm. There is right. a recipe to it. But they want to know that what, they're not crazy in their own mind. They want to mm-hmm. know, like, hey, am I tripping? Or, mm-hmm. you know, they just want to have a little yeah. bit of back and forth. And they want to know that you're interested and you give a damn. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty much it. They you don't want to hear her say, is it me? Oh, no. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. This is some key. <laughs> it's some key phrases you want to yeah. stay away from. But you know, mm-hmm. just being in a relationship is it's just work. It, with anything, it's work. So make sure y'all keep on working on yourselves, working on being better people. And y'all are fairly young, so y'all exactly, are kind of progress more and more and more. Hopefully, you guys, you know, hang out and, and stick it through, uh, which I'm sure you guys can if you want to. Oh, so yeah. Uh, yeah, keep it strong out there, Caleb. You got right. it, Caleb, man. You got this, my guy. Yeah. <laughs> so that way she'll be Mrs. Smith's. You know, mm-hmm. so damn. Look at that, Mr. And Mrs. Smith. Speaking into existence. Man, mm-hmm. right? No violence, though. Yeah. Yeah, not like the movie. <laughs> yeah, not, not but not, like man. Movie. If y'all enjoyed that clutch advice, man, make sure you run up the likes, man. Subscribe. Comment down below any advice or anything that you guys may feel like you need us to comment on or answer or just any uh, recognition or anything that you guys want to send. Let us know. And again, we're going to do our best to try to go through and fish out through some. And that way we can, you know, give our part and thoughts in mm-hmm. this world. But right. we love y'all. Keep on supporting. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.